Hey guys, this is Army Tricks from Extraterrestrial Gaming, and today I'm doing another YouTube tutorial, seeing as they've become quite popular now. Now, by popular, I don't mean very, very popular, just, just going into the hundreds. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to blur something in your videos. So, I've taken a little test, test short video of my computer desktop so I'm just using Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 if you want to click change sequence settings or we'll keep change and there you go so it's just make it fit and we have our sh very short video which is really loud sorry about that Let's unlink that and we can get rid of the audio. There we go. Short audio there. Now if we uh, control C and control V once you just the slider. Okay, now you've got two videos overlapping and just place it on top like so. Okay, now what we want to overlap, what we want to blur out is this section over here so all my apps so that's what we're going to do as an example and you can see that <coughs> now I'm going to effects and type in Gaussian or Gaussian or whatever you want and this is probably the best you know well the best type of blur I'd say or well, the most professional looking anyway then get prop and you also want mosaic. There it is. Okay, you've got to get this in a particular order. I think it goes crop mosaic blur. I think we can get this right. And what you want to do, just turn all these on. You won't need that on. Gaussian blur, you can vary crop. Okay. Uh, that's our original video. This is our current video. So if we add the same things into that mosaic, Gaussian, and crop. Now the other one I just added in just to be safe. Now this one is the actual one. There we go. Now we have a nice blur here. Well, a very big blur anyway. And that's caused by the mosaic. Now just use your crop tool to change the size of it. Make it clear or unclear, however you want. This one, we can get rid of this now. <coughs> Sorry about that. Got a bit of a cough. Okay, back to this one. Now on our actual thing, we can just shape it right. Get the shape right. And we can cover up our windows side. Well, whatever we were going to do anyway. Like so. Okay. Now, if you want to make it look more proper blur type, you want to just adjust these until what you want comes up. Oops. After that. And you can change the mosaic, how sharp the mosaic is, how revealing it is. So if you use about that, you can still see the window sign, but you've blurred it out basically. That's what you've done. Move it about. And then you're basically done. 
you blood it. And you will also, you may want to um, change the gauge and blur a tiny bit just to make it a little less revealing. Like that. <coughs> and there you go. Now you can also experiment with these by changing the order just to make things a bit clearer or less clear or just change it to your preferences. And you always have to have the second screen, otherwise it just won't work. And another way of doing this exact same thing, if you're not bothered with the blur, just to cover things up, if you want to. Let's just have a look at this first. Yep, so that's fully blurred. <coughs> yep, fully blurred. Done. That looks fine. Now if we get rid of our blur image, that there we go we've got a clear image again and if you don't want to do that and just want to do something the easy way and are just tired of making things blurry just wait and here we go you've got this and just create a little rectangle with what you want to cover up there and just close it now you'll have another title like that and there you go. Now you can also change, well obviously you can change like length and all that stuff. So if we, we can change the speed or duration to let's say 13 seconds. There we go. Now it lasts the whole time and we can also add in our own effects again. So if we add our crop, our mosaic, sorry. And our Gaussian blur, and somehow I got it in the right order. So if we blur it a bit, change the mosaic slightly, like that. And you might also want to make this completely, um, completely. Uh, completely invisible. To do that just change the opacity to zero or five percent something near that level. And now oops, just wait. And now a bit not quite that much just a fair amount not too much about 75 80 and you can use the Gaussian blur to just change the level of that and add some mosaic increase in size Blur a little more. And this way is slightly less effective. But it works. And there you go, you have a fairly blurred image. Now this isn't as powerful as the first method, but it's still good. It's not bad. And if you increase this to 100, it's better. But if you want it to look more blurry, like you just follow what I did earlier. Okay, thanks for watching and yeah, have a good day. And look out for more videos from me, Army Tricks from ET Gaming. And subscribe, like and comment if you haven't already.